Okay, um, before I can put the crank in the engine for the last time, I have to install the oil squirters back in the block. Before I do that, I'm going to clean them. So it's going to be very much the same sort of process. Just going to drown them in solvent. And in fact, I'm going to use the same solvent, uh, just wax and brush them over. Clean them, a bit of air, it should be okay. So these are a critical component. for the squirter itself so there's a hole on the inside in there and the squirts up through there got air coming out so one done Sorry about that YouTube and the internet, um, the, the camera went flat while I was cleaning the all squirters, I don't know how much I got. But I'm about to stick them in, so they go here, these locations. So, uh, I did clean them up, they're all here. Now to put them back in, I will need the torque spec for those, which is on my phone, because I've got the manual on my phone. So, good thing I double checked the manual. I thought these um, banjo bolts were a bit odd for, for the oil squirter. I wasn't sure how they worked. But there's actually a check valve in them. So, I've just got the back of a drill here. There's the hole there. And there's a spring load check valve and the pressure releases on this side here. So, when I've given this one a couple of things, a bit of dirty oil's come out the back. So, I'm just going to give them all a pump and make sure they're all clear and clean and then I'll assemble them. I feel like I've got more than I need here. Yep, that's operating fine. That's fine. That's fine. That one's fine. coming out of that one. That's okay. Let's pump it out. All good. One more. Yep, all coming out of that. Which is what you'd expect. It's coming out through the little hole in the back. Just a relief. So I got six there. I think I put two engines worth of squirters in the same thing, so I got a spare whole set. These are a 10 mil multi point. I don't know which ones you're going to be able to see from there, but you should be able to see something. Just get a bit of oil and just make sure we're wet with threads. These go in. Doesn't hurt to get some oil in the passage itself. This is my main oil feed passage. I think you'll probably see this one the best. So, this is the squirter, and here's the bolt. And it aligns with the hole, which you won't be able to see there. A little dowel for the squirter. Need to make sure they're lined up. Get it, get it started. There we go. It's just, just sitting in there. So here's one. There's a dowel. That's the passage. It screws in. 
Like so. Don't know how much usable footage this is going to have. Uh, just spin that in with our fingers for now. So we'll get them all in and then I'll talk them to spin. going to happen. So the uh, torque spec on this is 30 to 40 newton meters. So I'm going to tighten them down to 30. Fucking skink. Um, and then go back over them at 40. So this is technically going to be the first item bolted back onto this block that never comes off again. Step one of many. I've already done them up to 30. Job done. Technically, I suppose you could say the um, gudgeon pins or wrist pins on the pistons are the first thing to go together. That's never coming apart. But this is the first thing on the block. The next part is the crank and girdle that goes on permanently next. Um, it's pretty hot. Been down here for a few hours out in the sun for a few hours. Pretty worn out. So instead of rushing it for today, I'm going to leave it till tomorrow morning and I'll have the crank installed before lunch final install now I do have new um, main bolts or girder bolts coming but I'll use the ones I've got and torque it up to spec and then I'll just undo them when the new ones turn up and put the new ones in and torque them to their spec should make no difference whatsoever, it'll just make sure everything's held in place. Um, actually I might I might do them up to half spec or something just to hold it in place. I'll have a think about that. But yeah, it's been a it's been a productive couple of days down here in the garage. My biggest problem I see in the future is I can't seem to find the rings that I ordered that I bought. I seem to remember them going to the machine shop. I don't seem to remember them ever coming back. Um, the guy who helped me, well, we both sort of seem to remember them being part of the stuff that we were getting out of the machine shop. But I cannot for the life of me find them. But everything else that was there, I know where everything else is. But I don't know where they are. But that could be a hold up. Or a delay if I have to wait until the 3rd of January for all the shops to open. But we'll see what happens. Um, if my other delivery turns up tomorrow, which is Monday, with everything else, then I'll have plenty to do. Regardless, I can build the head, put the head together. But uh, we'll see how we go. It's coming together, and I'm very happy.